I was going into a gifted and talented program. So the requirement to get into that school was you had to take an IQ test. They said I did above and beyond. And they said the answers I gave were like, like the most creative out of this world answers they'd ever seen. And like, but I never, my mom never told me my IQ score because she didn't want me to get a big ego. And I'm glad she did because I feel like as a child, if I would have known at such a young age, I don't know, like, I feel like it would have messed with me mentally and maybe made me get a big head. And like Socrates says, you know, the wise man um, admits that he knows nothing. You know, yeah. he said it all the time. He said, I know nothing because otherwise you'll be a, you'll make yourself a fool at some point in your life. You have to admit what you don't know. I, I've started giving IQ tests to uh, clients and stuff like that. So I've given it quite a bit. There's a short version of an IQ test. There's a long version. There's versions that are just for children. It measures verbal abilities. It measures like cognitive thinking abilities in the sense of like your ability to recognize patterns and mm -hmm. to have fluid intelligence, which is being flexible and being able to adapt to novel or new information. Listening to you, sometimes what when when I hear people express themselves verbally, I can I can notice that, you know. They have a different cognitive ability to, you know, see the world, right? And sometimes that's due to the vocabulary that they have been surrounded by. But sometimes yeah. it just naturally comes out that they begin to use different words that to them, maybe they seem, you know, day-to-day -day words. But sometimes it's just, you know, very interesting how they express themselves, how, how they creatively yeah. create sentences you start creating these patterns to create a melody the melody creates harmonies you know you can add more harmonies that go along with the melody then you create a song you know and then you know it's it's so complex how how the person was able to to create it and plus they added meaning with lyrics and so that that whole concept of you know creating a song or creating a piece of art goes does, does that you know help children improve their iq well, you know, that reminds me of fluid intelligence, what we were talking about earlier, because fluid intelligence, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer your question, actually, right after that. Um, fluid intelligence is like being able to do that, be creative, because if you have high creativity, chances are you probably have high fluid intelligence. And fluid intelligence is basically like being able to come to a, a situation that you've never been in before, and then adapting or figuring out a new way to solve the puzzle that's never really maybe been done before or combining old ways together to form something new. Crystallized intelligence, the other measurement on these intelligence tests is more concrete in a sense that it's about information that you learn over time, like through school, uh, maybe through your family. Was Does like, that give a disadvantage to some people that might have not been too uh, exposed to certain knowledge? Or information like let's say someone's native language is not english you know yeah that's going to affect the test results and we have to note that down actually in some cases we'll give them we'll try to get a spanish version of the test or we'll get a translator who's well versed enough to give that test because if not if we give an english version of an intelligence test to someone whose native language is spanish for example that could severely affect the results of the uh the verbal type of test on it maybe people thought that i didn't understand because spanish was my first language i think for a lot of people they they might have thought like oh well why is this guy not getting it or why why does this kid not get it but it was you know maybe not that i didn't get it but just that i didn't understand the language itself so i, yeah, I can see a how, you know the the language can be oh yeah very, in, in the intelligence yeah it, may, it makes a huge difference and people don't give it enough credit to how hard it is to do what you're talking about is iq does iq ever represent some aspect of your economic you know success i i guess what other people might say smart but you know in their way they were smart themselves uh in how they were able to amass their their success Families that don't supply as much uh, as much of a, a rich environment. And by rich environment, I don't mean money. I mean like a lot of stimuli, a lot of stimulation of like books and like toys and like puzzles. And if a house isn't able to provide that, like maybe because of a low social economic status because they have less resources to afford that kind of stuff, then yeah, that can, that can kind of indirectly in some way affect intelligence because they say, 
the more stimulation you give a child with puzzles and games and all that growing up, you'll actually increase their intelligence in some way. Sometimes you have that yeah. golden child that, you know, happens to be in a low economic status family, but, you know, is just right. so bright that, you know, he find, or he or she finds the resources necessary to, you know, to, to well, develop. Their full idea. disclosure, I, I came from a family of lower kind of like, I guess, economic status initially. Um, and the doctors didn't think I was going to, you know, be much when I was born because my parents did drugs. My biological parents did a lot of drugs and my mom drank a lot and did a lot of other drugs, like hard drugs when she had me. They thought I would come out mentally challenged, if anything. Um, but that's why it doesn't really make a lot of sense why the, my intelligence was, I guess, higher than average, for lack of a better term. I'm in elementary school and then continued on. My mom was always very open about like, she never like said, no, like you can't take, like if I want to take apart a phone, she said, yeah, go ahead go take it apart. You know, that that's enriching, you know, but other parents might not let their child do that. And that creates a less enriching environment and might as a result, not increase IQ or those skills. Cause you're building skills. When you do things, you build skills. Yeah. And, and I think, one of the there's this um, research that a lot of students who were in GT uh, gifted and talented programs when they were younger, uh, once they get older, a lot of their IQ or their gifted and talented you know abilities, I guess I don't know what to really uh, yeah. call them, uh, decrease right. I didn't know that. that's interesting. Substantially, you know, substantially. I didn't know like, that. Like, hey, don't don't turn on that light or don't try that and it hampers our curiosity of wanting to try things. Yeah. So I yeah. think that's, that's given, you know, it's provided a big problem in, nowadays because a lot of people, they don't know what they want to do because they haven't tried it. Yeah.